baby Hamilton crawling for his lovey. He usually likes to burrow in after he eats. One thing that I read was that they are really social and that they do best with other mice. And because I didn't have another mouse for him, I put, I called it his lovey. I put this little stuffed animal in there that he could cuddle up to. A little pinky mouse in the parking lot. At first, I said I've never rehabbed a mouse before, so I wasn't sure that I was gonna be able to help. I said I would give it a try. He was a little bit smaller than a quarter, but I was so worried because he was so small. At his age, he had to be fed every two to three hours and only little amounts because of how small he was. So I was setting my alarm for every three hours, getting up, getting formula ready, and trying to feed him. You got it, little buddy. You can see his little breaths. I was so tired and I couldn't tell if he was making any progress because at that time he hadn't really gained any weight and his eyes were still closed. Okay, here's our little size check-in with Hamilton. He's definitely grown a lot in the last four days. Last one we did, he was about the size of the quarter and he has so much more fur now. He was finally starting to hold on to the syringe with his front paws. I feel like his eyes are getting really close to opening. He's moving around a little bit more. Come on, little guy. And he did. Buddy, I have to rinse you off because you make a mess of yourself. I was so excited when he first opened his eyes. Once his eyes started opening, I noticed that he started to investigate his nest box a little bit more. He started making little nests out of felt and paper towels that were in there. Hey you, you building a nest? Hey buddy, <laughs> when did you get so big? Within two weeks time, he was up to 11 grams, big boy. One of the things I learned that is crucial for him to learn before I release him out into the wild is things like being able to find different foods. It was awesome to see this teeny tiny little animal having a preference for his favorite foods. <laughs> if I put walnuts on the outside of his house, he'll come out and grab one with his hands and bring it back in to eat. Hey you, are you hiding from me? I'm gonna miss you, buddy. Yeah, he's independent now. Are you ready, buddy? It's your big day. It was pretty clear to me once I saw all these instincts kick in for the wild that I couldn't possibly give him in my house. I learned a lot from it, just at how much life was in this tiny little creature. Like, comment, and subscribe.